Here are five civil service interview questions and answers written by our expert interviewers from mockquestions.com. Question number one, why choose to work for the civil service? Your interviewer may start out with a question similar to this one, and they'll want to discover if you thoroughly research the position and are certain this opportunity is the right fit for you. Working in the civil service isn't for everyone. The work is hard and often repetitive, but the benefits, the job security, and flexibility are celebrated by their employees. I feel like my personality is a good fit for that environment. I am very self-managed in my work and am resourceful and can adapt well. I'm a team player and enjoy fostering strong professional relationships at work. I enjoy helping people and am responsible and maintain boundaries. I have a lot of integrity and would have no trouble adhering to the code of conduct as detailed by the civil service. Question number two, what do you consider your greatest weaknesses? Some view this as a trick question and are hesitant to share their self-perceived weaknesses out of fear that they're giving the interviewer what they needed to know to not hire them. But But not all weaknesses raise red flags. For example, Telling the interviewer that your weakness is your attendance and that no matter how hard you try, you can never seem to get to work on time is a solid reason not to hire you. However, telling them your greatest growth opportunity is in trying to find a better work-life balance and that you often take work home with you will not will likely not be viewed negatively. I would say my greatest weakness is that I sometimes am too self-reliant. In my last review, my supervisor told me I don't always have to go it alone and that it would help me to come to others for help from time to time. So I'm working on that. Question number three, what three words would you use to describe yourself? Interviewers may ask this question because they are curious about what three words you would use to describe yourself as a professional and what those three words say about you. But they are also curious how well your self description aligns with their culture and values. Do your homework before your interview and familiarize yourself with the language used by the civil service on their websites. Examine their values and what they look for in a candidate and align the words you choose with that. I would describe myself as responsible, accountable, and communicative. Question number four, what would you do if you were in the middle of a task and your manager asked you to do something else? This question probes your flexibility and how effectively you shift your priorities on short notice. How you answer could offer insights and depth you are at tracking your progress, managing your time, and your ability to prioritize and keeping your eye on the big picture. I would first inform them about what I was working on to clarify what they wanted me to reprioritize. Then I would ask to make sure I couldn't continue my current task at that moment. If it was necessary to drop what I was doing, I would take some notes about where I left off and do what I do as I was told. Question five. When was the last time you delivered at pace? In the civil services code of conduct, they detail that civil servants are expected to deliver at pace. Describe to your interviewer when you successfully delivered at pace according to their standards and expectations. I pride myself on consistently delivering at pace. I am mindful of my attention to detail and effectiveness and never miss a deadline. I constantly evaluate the most effective way of doing things and take great pride in my work. Preparing for your civil service job interview will require more practice than just these five interview questions. Head over to mockquestions.com and get 25 more questions and answers for your civil service interview.